Hey everybody, we have Late Guitar Crate, September 2022 edition. Uh, the label was made, I think, on the 8th, or maybe it was the 7th, and I received it today. It sat with Guitar Crate for a while before it shipped, and usually I get mine in the middle of the month, so this does feel a little late, but we're in the truck today. We're at my son's piano lesson, and he's inside taking the lesson. I'm here in the truck doing a video if you didn't already figure that out. So what we do every month, if you're new to this, we just cut right open and get into it. Um, I do want to say that I noticed the prices are different on the Guitar Crate site. I think that's because everything went up in price. So uh, when I was telling everyone 40 bucks a month, it's 45 for the two packs of strings. That includes shipping, you're billed automatically, it comes right out of your account. So here we are, we cut right in. And for those not familiar with Guitar Crate, it's a subscription service. You choose how many packs you want. Uh, they have a Pedal of the Month Club. They have Just Strings and Picks Club. So you have a couple different options of what you'd like to choose. And then every month they send you a box like this and you get some cool stuff in it. So let's open this up. We're gonna just get everything out now. And then we're gonna throw the box. What do we got here? The very first thing we have are fret polishing cloths. It says 5410 microfine fret polishing cloth bag, and there's two of them in here, it says. Um, directions, microfine fret polishing cloth should be used with the strings removed. No kidding. Wrap the cloth around the tip of your finger, polish your frets to remove and wear, remove all wear elements and tarnish. Slide over the length of each fret using light, even pressure. After you've polished the frets, apply number two fingerboard deep conditioner. The microfine fret polishing cloth can be cleaned many times by rinsing it in warm water. What this is, it's a uh, very, very fine grit paper. Uh, you would have to rub on it for quite some time to cause any damage to your skin or anything. And I know it says use it with the strings off. You could probably loosen the tension and, and clean the frets under the strings with it. I wouldn't do it. Um, these are actually kind of handy to have a couple of them in your bench. I wouldn't buy one of these in a pack like this. I'd buy a full sheet of it. Uh, and actually my fine sanding power, <clears throat> fine sanding um, paper I get from Stu Mac. I get the micro mesh blocks. So, uh, but th this is actually pretty cool to have. Oh, I got another one of these. I got one of these last year sometime if you look at the videos. Uh, this is an onstage stand. Uh, you could use it for an audio interface. It's quarter inch to USB. I probably won't use it because I don't know dick all about recording into my computer. I used to. I'm going to date myself here. Windows XP, Cool Edit Pro, um, 2K, Acoustica Beatcraft, and I used a Line 6 POD uh, XT Live to record direct into the computer with that. And when all that stuff didn't work together anymore, I quit recording. and. I do need to get into that, though. That's not going to be too difficult to um, <clears throat> overcome. A couple minutes online, I'm sure. Uh, two packs of strings. I've said this every month that I get these. I feel that this company makes the single best string for the money. They also make a product called the NYXL. It's slightly more expensive. Uh, it's a little bit better of a product. I'm slowly deciding if I want to convert to that. I know I keep saying that. Uh, the reason I haven't is I probably have... 150 200 sets of strings at the shop so got to use what you have uh we have another lanyard i got one of these in a previous thing this is nice just to have something you can hook on to if you need um uh we call them the vinyls or they're your lanyard that would have your hey i'm allowed to be here this is where your all access pass is so and forth uh what do we got here we got some thumb picks a couple celluloid thumb picks we have a sticker. We got some chick driving a bus and there's a bunch of gear on top of it. Reminds me of a story. I used to play in this group and the bassist was um, inebriated and his girlfriend was driving the truck with the band trailer and the side man door on the band trailer, I guess, was open the entire drive from where we played to where they were at. And I think it's about an hour or an hour and a half. So uh, kind of funny story, just seeing all that there. But um, I'll put this on one of my road cases for my pedal boards. I have two pedal boards that I use um, and they're both in these cases. Pedal Train makes them and you know the 
I don't know, stickers look cool on a board uh, or on a box. I should do a video of my pedal board. Maybe I'll do that later. But, and then we got another one of these. So I had to ask what this was before. And so if you look at this, what in the world is that, right? So it's a finger exerciser. You can take it through your fingers and maybe you can, I don't know. I, maybe if you use two hands, I don't think that's how it's intended. But um, I have a handful of these and they usually end up getting thrown into the cases of, sorry, I keep looking, I'm seeing this guy in the corner here. He's looking at me, talking to my phone and he's probably calling the cops on me. Um, no, he's not. But I usually throw these in the case of a guitar that I'm selling. Uh, same with the stuff like this, because I won't use a thumb pick. Uh, these I'll actually throw in the shop um, toolbox because they won't hurt to have. And then this I'll throw in the goodie box. Um, same with this too. So quick recap, we got Dunlop micro fine prep polishing cloth, just call it a super fine grit sandpaper. And if you're from Pennsylvania, like me, uh, some folks would say like 220 is fine. No, in woodworking it might be fine, but when it comes to your guitar, 1500, 2000, 2500 plus, the, the micro mesh and things like this go up to 8000 grit, and it can be used wet or dry, uh, the micro mesh. These, you can wet them to clean them uh, and get more life out of it. So the sandpaper, the finger thingy, uh, PWFDLK25, made in China. And we have the celluloid thumb picks, our pretty cool sticker, two packs of strings, and our cable. That's uh, oh, and the lanyard, and that's the guitar crate for September. 2022 arriving quite late so i will do a video here on my pedal board i probably should do that i might actually try and record that tonight um and then i'll be back with the next guitar crate next month and i have a couple other things i want to review i picked up one of the mini amplifiers um i picked up the bogner ecstasy version and my buddy owns the friedman uh, be version and it seems like all the um companies that have a pedal like that um so bogner diesel um friedman there's a soldano but i don't know what pedal it's based off of uh i guess basically what they've done is they've taken the pedal put a power section to it and put speaker outs in an effects loop and it, you know they're virtually the same price my buddy had his friedman over at my place and we compared the two of them they were both real fun amps and really loud for uh 200 i got mine uh for 212 dollars uh plus tax from sweetwater they were having a sale very very loud for what it is um i'll do a video on that so what do we have uh pedal board uh that bogner amp and then i have a couple charvels uh, that i picked up i want to do a video on i want to compare i picked up a used white with lavender jake i want to compare it to the one that i bought new uh, just see if anything's changed over the couple years. And then I also bought uh, two of the USA uh, SoCal uh, Charvels, white uh, hum single single and then black hum single single. I want to talk about those and do a video on them. So there you have it. We'll see you next video. I was going to say next month for the guitar crate, but we'll see you the next video. You take care. Be well.